Music, atmosphere, script, animations, gameplay. Elements that contribute to the creation of video games so that they have the end result to take players to another world. However, a special element is missing. The ingredient that cannot be missed. The correct presentation of lighting in the scene. That is why in this video we want to present you Volumetric Lights for Unity, an asset that allows you to add and edit volumetric light effect to the different types of light that you can create in Unity, helping to obtain the final realistic result in the lighting of your game. Hi, I am Sorin Pradescu, Content Manager of Connect, and in this video I will walk you through the main features of volumetric lights. If we search these terms on the Asset Store, we will find the asset and once acquired, we can import it. When we finish importing the asset, we get the bundle folder that contains the two packages for you to choose if you want to work with the universal or built-in pipeline. After making the choice and you are done importing, you will get a folder with all the resources which contains a demos folder where we can see the effect represented with different types of lighting, a documentation folder, and the rest of necessary resources for the asset to work properly. Volumetric Lights works with the universal and built-in pipeline. And if you want to use the first option, you will have to install the package in your project and finally assign the universal rendering pipeline found in the demos folder. We simply drag it into the graphics tab. Once we are done with this step, we can start implementing the asset in the lights of our scene. And we have two options to do it. Apply the script to a light already created or create a light from scratch with the script already applied to it. The first two sections of the script are general options related to the rendering and the appearance of the volumetric light. Playing with the values of these options gives us the possibility of adjusting the visual aspect so that it adjusts to the result we want to obtain for the particular project that we are creating allowing to change values such as noise, density, brightness, color and reduction of banding among many other options. The last three options are the ones that bring life to this asset. In the first place, we can adjust the animation of the volumetric light, giving an effect of movement, the speed of which we can change. On the other hand, activating the dust particles adds a realistic touch by creating dust particles within the volumetric light. And finally, Shadow Occlusion adds the final magic touch, adding shadows to the objects that interact with the effect. Finally, the Custom Size and Custom Bounds option allow you to overwrite the properties of the range or radius of the light and adjust the display of the effect only in specific places. For example, preventing the effect from being shown through walls. Thank you for watching this video and don't forget that if you have any questions regarding the explanation you can contact us. We also invite you to visit our other products in the Unity Asset Store.